Joel, on your left, Sarah Todd, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, you said after you said after the last game that you need to do the little things, even when you don't have it going offensively. And I mean, you finished plus forty tonight. So, what were the little things that went into having that much of an impact on the game? Um, I mean, with the way they guarded me, um, you know, double teams or. Uh, you know, you can't see it on pick and rolls. Uh, Mark is not helping out for me. Uh, you know, they really uh, stuck to me. And every time I put it on the floor or every time I have the ball, they just collapse. Uh, so I'm forced to take a lot of jump shots. So I can make the easy, easier decision and get my teammates open by setting great screens, rolling to the basket, finding guys, and, you know, trying to free, uh, trying to free them up. Uh, and then defensively, just you know, covering for for everybody. Um, you know, whenever I can't block a shot, you know, do it. Uh, just be all over the place. Um, yeah. Joel, David, Greenham, and ESPN uh, back here. Uh, you told us in Toronto that you wanted to kind of get back that joy, get back that effervescence that you bring to the court. When you had those two blocks in the third quarter on Kawhi, and then. Hit the shot and, and kind of backpedaled with a smile on your Sorry, face. Did you? Me, man. You want to hear shit? <laughs> I, did, I, just, I was just sitting here and then they asked me a question. Yeah. I... <laughs> did, did you feel that stretch like that was you kind of welcoming yourself back to the playoffs, getting over what you you'd been through? Um, man, it started from the uh, from the beginning, coming in, uh, knowing that uh, this was a uh, you know do or die situation. So I, you know, I know I knew that I had to come in with, you know, high spirits, uh, you know, uh, and you know he played the usual like he always does. Uh, but uh, that's that's what I gotta keep on doing. Um, you know, do the little things and everything's gonna follow. Uh, over to you guys over here, um, Rich Hoffman, the Athletic. This is for either of you guys. Uh, after poor performances, it seems like you guys tend to bounce back. There were a few of those in the regular season. Why do you guys think that is? Um, man, if you play bad, uh, you want to come back the next game and play better. Uh, you know, we, you know, up there in Toronto, we felt like, uh, you know, we didn't play uh, the way we wanted to. And we made a lot of mistakes, and uh, tonight they had to be corrected, uh, especially with turnovers and, you know, transition defense. Um, you know, everybody was aggressive. Uh, ben was uh, was great tonight. Jimmy was great. Tobias was great. Uh, and then defensively, collectively, uh, we did a great job. Joel, uh, Sean Kennedy, Liberty Ballers. There was the one instance in the second half you were reinserted in the game after only a minute on the bench. Have you been given any guidance about how much you're, you know, willing to be pushed out there? Like how far you can go, especially with Game Seven coming up? Uh, man, they shouldn't tell me, uh, and they haven't told me. It's the playoffs. Uh, I gotta play. If I gotta play 45 minutes and push myself out there, that's what I gotta do. If that's what it takes to win, then. If my presence on the court, uh, you know, is needed, uh, I gotta be there. It doesn't matter if it takes the whole game. So, and I'm fine with it. Uh, I'm gonna keep on pushing myself, and uh, you know, game seven, uh, we gonna need it. I'm gonna need to be on the court, uh, you know, and, and I intend to be ready for if for everything. If I had to play a whole game, Jimmy, uh, back row to your left here. Um, Number of times they made runs at you, and you guys just handled the counter punch back. Just talk about the resiliency you guys showed tonight, uh, especially that fourth quarter where they get to within eight, and then you guys just kind of went into a gear and took control and just took over from that point. I think the the game is a game of, of runs um, as a whole. It's all about withstanding those runs. And I, more than anything, I just think tonight, we let our defense um, start us out and dictate our offense, which is what I, I always say. Whenever we play like that, we're, we're hard to beat. Home, on the road, neutral site. Um, that, that's how we have to play basketball. How do you feel right now 
And how do you feel? How did you feel going into this game compared to the other games earlier in the series? I'm great. Uh, the other games earlier in the series, I was great. I'm great today. Uh, Joel, on your way off the floor in Toronto, uh, you let it, let it be known you'd be coming back. Um, I'm to your left. To your left. I'd let it be known that you'll be coming back for Game Seven. Now that this moment's here, what are your emotions going into a do or die situation in Game Seven? Just gotta play basketball. You know, basketball is fun. Uh, I understand. Uh, uh, you know the that I understand that is game seven. Um, you know, but got to come in and uh, you know fight just like we did tonight. Uh, you know, our back is, was on the line tonight. I feel like our back is still on the line. He's on the line, so we just gotta do the same thing. Come back and like you say. It's all about defense. Uh, man, if we play defense like we played tonight or uh, in game two or th and three, uh, man, we feel like we can beat anybody. So uh, we got to come in and be ready. Joel and Jimmy on your right here. Joel, what did, uh, what did Jimmy mean to you guys in the first half? And uh, Jimmy, did you feel like you had to come out and sort of take things over in the first half, it seemed like you played that way. I just came out aggressive, as they tell me to be all the time. Um, game simple. I shoot the ball when I'm open. Sometimes I shoot it when I'm not open. And, uh, you know, I, I try to get out in transition, get some steals, um, get some rebounds, and take off. Um, that's, that's just how the game went for us tonight. Home crowd, crowd was great. Um, no booze. Uh, they booed they us did, a little bit, did, right? They did, they did boo. Okay, they booed us a little bit. <laughs> they did. We appreciate it. But uh, all in all, they, they was really into the game. Uh, it was great. Carried okay, us offensively and defensively, obviously. Uh, you know, I feel like the last day that he had uh, before the half was huge, uh, especially for the momentum. Um, you know, just we need him to be the same, uh, especially uh, up in Toronto. Jimmy, over here to your left. Has this been a part of your plan since you've been here to be more aggressive around this time of year? Because at the start of since you got here, it seems like you were finding your way. You were being maybe a little bit more on the passive side, but now you seem more aggressive and assertive. Has that been a part of the plan, or is that just a figment of our imagination? I'm going to go with the imagination part. Uh, I'm just I'm just hooping. I'm, I'm doing what they asked me to do. Uh, you know, and... I play to win. I think right now this is what I have to do in order to give us a, a great chance of winning. I think from game to game, hell, from series to series, the role could change. I'm cool with it. Like I always say, I just want to win. If we win, I'm good. If we don't, uh, I got a problem. Dan Gelson, the Associated Press. Joel, how concerned are you about the flagrant situation? Is there anything to do in your game differently? To I mean, this is... Uh, it's annoying, stupid. Um, I feel like the one in Brooklyn should have been. We send it uh, tonight. Um, it's just basketball. I didn't, didn't mean to do it. Uh, I just happened to hit him in the face, I guess, and uh, uh, didn't mean to do it. And it just happened. Uh, a lot of things like that happened. I got hit in the face uh, in the first half uh, uh, by Pascal. That, but kind of like the same situation that wasn't a flagrant so uh and uh and i saw the video of it i mean it, it doesn't look that bad uh stuff um you know now i gotta i guess i got one more and uh i uh, going for one game so i gotta look out for it um but uh there's definitely uh some uh, uh this one and the one in brooklyn that i feel like i didn't deserve Joe, Joel, I'm curious. Um, I know you enjoy playing to the crowd, but there was a lot less of that from you tonight. One, if that was by design, just to like stay focused in the moment. And two, how do you bottle the way you played tonight to take to game seven? Um, I mean, I'm mature. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm starting to figure out the whole league. I'm starting to figure it out kind of like, 
everybody around here, you guys, um, the fans. You know, it's just, you know, it's a, the situation win is uh, it's fun. I love being in, in this situation and you got to play both sides. Um, you know, I got to be myself uh, and I'm always going to be myself. Um, but at the same time, you know, I got to I gotta do my job on the court and that's all that matters. Uh, you know, I got to show up for my teammates um, every game, uh, defensively, offensively. Uh, man, I don't know if I didn't play to the crowd tonight on purpose or if, I don't know. Yeah, I was just playing basketball. Uh, you know, some days it's going to happen. Uh, some days it's not going to happen. Uh, Jimmy, Kai Carlin, Sixers Wire. You're always telling Ben to attack. Uh, tonight, how do you feel like he kind of stepped up to the challenge tonight and attacked the rim as much as he could? Uh, <clears throat> he did that. He attacked the transition in the half, um, made some free throws. That's how we need him to be, along with Joe and everybody else. You can't key in on, on one or two guys on this team because we have so many guys that can put the ball in the basket. We have so many guys that could get a stop and take off dribbling with the basketball. Um, like I said before, that's how we're going to win, as we showed tonight. When he's aggressive, when Ben's aggressive, Tobias is aggressive, it uh, gives us a, a greater chance of winning.